All right, what's up? Um, today we're gonna be uh, painting the hood. I already wiped it down, sanded it, and everything. So this is how it looks before. Just kind of get a shot before. See how it looks. Um, I just kind of scuffed it up really good. The paint—it's really smooth. On um, the paint should should adhere pretty good. Shouldn't have any problems. Hopefully it won't come out all fucked up. Um, I already popped the hood. Could you pop the hood there? I think it's on the bottom right there, yeah. And then I'll show you guys. I marked the the little latches or whatever. See, I kind of already just put some lines. Uh, where's that? Right there. I put little lines right here just to mark it. So when we take it off, we'll just put that back. And then it shouldn't be uh, too many problems. I just disconnected the fucking water line for the windshield wiper fluid. So now we're going to start taking it off and see what's up. Got the hood off. Boom. Let me stop. You. Cut. Go to commercial. No. Check it out. Look how it looks without the hood. Should I just run it without the hood? <laughs> Think that would be cool. That's like 50 pounds of weight reduction right there. And then I'm gonna take the bed off too next. Run it without the bed. That'll be kind of sick. Let me try and get that get that fucking washer. My spacer washer. So we put the fucking uh <laughs> we put the hood on top of the the fence here and then we're gonna go around and grab it and then we'll start painting it up on the other side there in our backyard. Alright, so the the paint we're gonna use is Rust Oleum, American accents, and this one's already got like uh Primer. Fucking primer and everything in there. Satin Canyon Black. So we'll see what's up. This is going to be the first one now. First coat. Here we go. I'm just going to kind of feather it. And I'll come back and build it up. Ay, 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 ay. Now he's using one of the techniques we learned from Ricardo. Back in the day, <laughs> It's gonna look pretty cool, I think, after once it's black. Check it out. So it came out okay. <laughs> you could kind of see some lines and shit, but we're gonna let that dry and then come back and uh, touch it all up, spray it all again, and then what I'll do is uh, we'll wet sand it after it's all finished. That way it'll come out good and look nice and professional. As much as <laughs> as much as it can for fucking <laughs> spray paint, but. This is pretty much how it's going to look right now. 
uh, that's probably how it's going to end up looking, really. Tell you the truth. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, mom. There we go. It's coming out pretty good, right? Seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll just like kind of like see. You can kind of see the lines, but it's just wet right now. Once it dries, this stuff it it like forms together pretty good. Check it out. This all is coming out. Still a little wet right now. We just hit it up with another coat. So once all this shit dries. Um, I'll probably let it dry for like a couple days, maybe even like a week or something. So I'll probably have to live with like some of the lines and shit for like a week or something. And then what I'll do is I'll hit it up with color sand and probably get like 1,000 grit or 2,000 grit sandpaper. Touch all this shit up, all these little spots right here, rough, um, clean them up. Clean up those rough areas, all that shit right there. I don't know if you can see that. But hopefully once it dries, that'll lay out a little bit flatter. But that's how it's coming out for now. So, um... I'm kind of all ha happy with it, but not really. Just kind of like a perfectionist on this, some of this shit. I don't like my shit looking like spray cans or whatever, but... Fuck it, it is what it is, and this is what it is, so fuck it. Quick, I uh, just want to make a quick shout-out to all the subscribers from Compton. Thank you guys for watching. Where you from, fool? Alright, so check it out. We actually remembered uh, on the satin paint how it leaves a lot of those streaks. Um, Ricardo showed us this one technique before. Uh, you just got to dust it. See, there's no more lines. You like faded them all out. So he's going to show you real quick how to do that. You just kind of hold the can far away and you're just going to lightly dust the paint. Thank you, Ricardo. Rest in peace, brother. See, he's not putting a hard line. He's just letting the paint fall and lay itself onto the surface. So it's removing all the lines by filling in the the excess uh, space. So it's just finding its own spot in there, laying down naturally. This will work with Plasti Dip too. I know a lot of people when they do their car with the rattle can, it leaves streaks. So check that out. It's smooth. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, check it out. <clears throat> this is how it came out. We finally got it put on. It was kind of being a bitch to fucking install. Shout out to my brother, the Super Miata Bros, for helping me put this on. It was, if it wasn't for him holding it, I couldn't have probably did it. It was turning into a major bitch. But, uh, yeah, fucking, this is how it looks installed. There's a few fingerprints on there. I gotta clean it up, but looks pretty good overall. I'm pretty happy with it. No lines or nothing. It actually laid out pretty flat. This is the most important part right here. Because <laughs> I'm going to be looking at that the whole time. But, uh, yeah, that's how it came out, guys. Fucking, we use satin black paint. But, uh, yeah, fuck. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Peace out.